Have you ever wondered who first discovered cells in living organisms? Those minute building blocks of life that are so intrinsic to our understanding of biology today? The credit goes to a man named Robert Hooke, a 17th century English scientist, architect, and inventor. His curiosity and inventiveness, evident even in his childhood, led him to make groundbreaking discoveries that still impact our world today. Born on a summer day of July 18, 1635, in freshwater on the Isle of Wight, young Hook showed an early fascination with science and mathematics. This passion took him to the Westminster School in London and then to Christ Church, Oxford. Here, under the mentorship of the esteemed scientist and mathematician Robert Boyle, Hooke began to chart his own course in the realm of scientific exploration. One of Hooke's most notable achievements was his pioneering work in microscopy. He was the first to observe and describe cells in living organisms. His book, Micrographia, published in 1665, offered the world a new perspective on life, with detailed illustrations of organisms and objects as seen through a microscope. This work revolutionized the field of biology and set a new direction for future research. But Hooke's interests were not confined to biology alone. He made significant contributions to the field of physics, formulating what we now know as Hooke's Law. This law, which describes the relationship between the force applied to a spring and its displacement, laid the groundwork for the study of elasticity. Engineers and physicists still use this principle today. In addition to his scientific work, Hooke displayed remarkable skills as an architect and inventor. He designed several buildings in London, including the Monument to the Great Fire of London. His invention of the balance spring for watches considerably improved their accuracy, showing his knack for practical applications of scientific principles. However, Hooke's journey was not without controversy. His relationships with other scientists, particularly with Sir Isaac Newton, were often contentious. They clashed over their theories on gravitation, with Hooke accusing Newton of appropriating his ideas. When Hooke died on March 3, 1703, he left behind a legacy of scientific discovery and innovation that continues to inform and inspire. His work in microscopy, physics, and architecture has made a lasting impact on the world of science. Despite the controversies and conflicts, Robert Hooke's contributions to science and engineering affirm his place as one of the most significant scientists of the 17th century. His legacy lives on, reminding us that curiosity and inventiveness can lead to discoveries that change our understanding of the world.